Designing a Base Map, Part 1, Setting Up Your Workspace. The goal of this activity is for students to learn how to design a base map. In geospatial science, a base map refers to a collection of data layers that are used to create a background for the map. The purpose of the base map is to provide context for the primary data, both spatially and thematically. Typical base map layers include roads, administrative boundaries, and aerial imagery. In this activity, you will gather the data necessary to construct a base map for the city of San Francisco. You will then use what you learned in this chapter to design a base map, which will be used as the background for a thematic poster map. As you learned in a previous tutorial, the first step when starting a project is to create a basic folder structure. Typically, this will be placed on your local hard drive. In this example, I am using the desktop folder. I'll start by creating a top level folder, which should indicate the project. Within this folder, I will create three subfolders original, working, and final. Data SF is a clearinghouse of public domain datasets available from the city and county of San Francisco. The data on this website is free to use under the public domain dedication and license version 1.0. Open the Chrome browser and navigate to the Data SF website. A link is provided on the written instructions. On the search bar, type the keywords SF, shoreline, and islands, and click the magnifying glass. When the results appear, click the link that says SF, shoreline, and islands. When you do so, a map view appears with a visual display of the data over a Google Maps background. Near the right, click the Export tab. Then right-click on the shapefile link, select Save Link As, then save the file to your original folder. When done, click the Browse Data link near the top of the page. Repeat these steps using the following keywords. Recreation and Parks Properties, SF Urban Tree Canopy, Streets of San Francisco, mta.muni underscore simple roots and realtor neighborhoods. Be sure to download each file to your original folder. You should also search for buildings using the keyword building footprints. The step for downloading this data set is a little different. It takes you to an external link where you will download the file in geodatabase format. A geodatabase is a kind of container file that can hold many types of GIS data layers. It is used as a way to organize related data sets. Click the Building Footprints link. On the Building Footprints page, right-click the button that says Zip, select Save Link As, then save the file to your original folder. Leave all of the files compressed for now. You will decompress the files in a later step. In the next video, you will learn how to refresh a folder in the catalog tree.